the first step in winterizing your hilo is to locate the low point drain valve. And this is generally on the front end of the trailer somewhere uh, down at a low point below the freshwater tank. In this case, it's on the outside of the skirting. What you'll do simply is to open the valve and you'll see water to begin to flow out if there's water in your freshwater tank. It's a good idea to go inside the trailer now and open one or two of the faucets to allow air to backfill as the water flows out. This will allow it to flow out more quickly and more completely. What we have here is the water heater and the water heater bypass valves. While you're winterizing, you'll have to take these valves and turn them so that they face one another. Notice that one is on the inside and one is on the outside. When they're facing one another, the water heater is bypassed. When they're facing the water line, it shows the direction of flow and it is not bypassed. So to winterize, have the valves facing one another so that no water will flow into the water heater. The next step in winterizing your hilo is uh, once the freshwater system is drained and the water heater is bypassed, you'll come outside and drain your water heater. And you do this by opening the water heater, locating the nylon drain plug, and removing it. Once you remove it, the water will drain out, and once it's empty, replace the nylon plug to keep bugs and whatnot from getting back inside your water heater. Once your entire water system is drained, it's time to introduce RV antifreeze into uh, the water lines. What you'll do is with the uh, clear hose that's attached to the water pump, you'll turn the valve to the open position, then you'll insert the tube into a gallon jug of RV antifreeze. Once that's accomplished, then you'll turn the water pump on and it'll draw the antifreeze from the bottle into the system. Once antifreeze is being pumped into the fresh water lines, you'll have to go to each faucet and open the faucets individually. And when you do that, you'll see that the uh, pink antifreeze solution is, is flowing out of the faucet into the toilet, into the shower, into the lavatory sink. That way you're sure that all the fresh water is out and antifreeze only remains in the lines. With the water heater and the fresh water tank bypassed, you'll be able to winterize your trailer with a gallon to a gallon and a half of antifreeze as opposed to filling up the water heater or filling up the freshwater tank with antifreeze and pumping it through the system.